Veganomics here. Hey there, YouTube Veganomics here. So, I have a cool little device that I picked up on the cheap in the neighboring city of Cape Coral. Um, I picked it up for 15 bucks. So if you knew what this was before I tell you what it is in the comments. This is a bread maker, guys. And it's the Sunbeam uh, Make Model number 5891, whatever. Uh, so basically this is, it has an express option on it. So you can make a loaf of bread in like an hour and 15 minutes or two or hour and 55. Or you can do it the conventional long way, which takes like four hours. Um, most people prefer to do the longer one because I think it comes out a little better and you know for one of them you gotta use for the quick one you wanna use a quick rise yeast for the other one you're gonna wanna use the it's in the fridge because I opened it active dry yeast so what am I making right now I'm actually making a banana bread with whole wheat and you can't see it but I'll open it uh, smells so good you can't really see it right now but I'll tell you a few of the ingredients that I put in so for the sugary uh, substance you can use sugar. I, I prefer to use maple syrup. So I use maple syrup. I use, um, I should really put this in the fridge, I think, after, yeah, refrigerate after opening. So um, I use 100% whole, whole grain, whole wheat flour, and I do use bread flour. So I use a mixture. Um, you know, I used to make it with just whole wheat bread. It's really your preference. Um, bananas went into this, a little bit of vanilla went in, a little bit of cinnamon went in, uh, what else? Flaxseed was in my bread from yesterday, and, but not today, I don't know why I forgot it or something, but, so why did I get a bread maker? Um, well, each loaf of bread costs about three, four dollars on average, because I buy premium, I buy pretty good quality whole wheat bread usually. And I was thinking, you know what? You can shave that off to be... I read online, there's ways to make loaves for less than a dollar each. And so with a $15 bread maker and literally 10 minutes of preparation, yeah, you gotta wait four hours, but I just... I, I, we went to the park and I left this, you know? So is it worth it for me to be able to make a loaf of bread and... Honestly, it tastes much better than any store-bought one you're going to have. So, is it worth it to try to... I found it on Craigslist, $15. And, you know, to have 80, 80 cent loaves of bread every day if you want. And they're fresh and they taste great. Yes, it's totally worth it. So, I don't know. That's what I've been kind of into for the last couple days. Um, I've been thinking about wanting to go to Germany... And to live there just because of how forward thinking they are with their energy, renewable energy and stuff. Um, and so I was looking up culture uh, of, of German people and they eat bread a lot. And I was like, hey, I eat bread a lot, <clears throat> but I buy, I eat store bought bread that has a lot of sodium in it. So I was thinking, how can I, you know, control the sodium in my bread? And we used to have a bread maker at my mom's old house. But I don't know what happened to it. I think she gave it away or something. So I was like, hey, man, I could I could do it by myself and make the put it in the pan and do the oven the whole time. Or I could get a cheap-ass bread maker. This is, I think, normally $59 uh, new, but it was barely used. He said they used it three, four times. Um, and then he doesn't really make bread anymore. So uh, 15 bucks. Goodbye, in my opinion, yes. I try to, when I, when I, I buy used things, but I look for quality. I look for day-to-day -day use. Am I going to use this thing ten times and then is it going to sit for a while? Who knows? Probably not because, you know, if I really get into it and get into a niche and get, get good at bread making, that's really kind of a craft I think is pretty cool and, and not too many people really do it anymore. Some people do like the Amish uh, friendship bread, which is cool and it really tastes good. I think they do use eggs in that uh, recipe though. So I don't know. I looked up uh, a vegan whole wheat recipe and I. Because you can't find a vegan whole wheat recipe for a bread maker. You just can't find it online. I don't know 
why. So what I did was I found a non-vegan um, bread maker whole wheat recipe, and I made it vegan. You can find vegan whole wheat ones for the oven, and you can find non-vegan whole wheat recipes for the bread maker, but you can't find it all. You can never get everything you want, but wow, this video is going to get long. Okay, so I don't know, guys. I'll show you. I'll show you when it comes out. I think I made a mistake because yesterday I put too much yeast in so it rose and then fell. Today I don't think I either put enough in or I accidentally, last night I left the yeast out after opening it and you're supposed to refrigerate it. So maybe the yeast is all fucked up, you know what I'm saying? So, But it smells great, I'm going to eat it nonetheless. So I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Here's my weird shaped banana bread, I don't really care. It tastes good. Mmm. Mm, nom, nom, nom. So, I'm getting better. I'm making my own bread. This is the third loaf I've made. And this is like a normal end piece, like a normal loaf of bread. The first one was weird. The trick was, I didn't put any banana in this one. This one's got oats in it. It's got bread flour, it's got wheat flour, it's got maple syrup, it's got, what is uh, linessa? Linseed, which is also called uh, flax, flax. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful bread. At a fraction of the price. There's nothing better than jelly, jam, on your own toasted bread that you made from scratch. Delicious. We just went to Naples and picked up a puppy. Seven months old for 40 bucks? 50? No. 50 bucks, yeah. Roxanne is giving him a bath, her a bath right now. Chico's new girlfriend. Chico's new girlfriend. He can't wait till she's nice and clean. I want to see her. Oh, she smells good.